click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have discussed about the classification of polymers based on the growth polymerization and now in this topic we are going to talk about the classification of polymers based on the intermolecular forces and this is what I am going to talk about. So now let us understand what are the different classification of polymers based on the molecular forces. So now let's get started. So friends, we understand that is whenever we are talking about polymers, obviously there would be a kind of intermolecular force of attraction between the polymers and that's the reason that they have a particular property. It could be tensile strength or it could be a fiber nature. And so this is what I want to talk about the classification of polymers. So talk about the classification based on the molecular forces. Basically they are classified into four types and those are elastomers, fibers, thermoplastic polymers and thermosetic polymers. So what is elastomers? So elastomers are nothing but they are polymers which has a property of elasticity. Obviously you understand that is suppose if you are talking about rubber that is if we apply a force on it so obviously it will stretch. So whenever it gets stretched the molecules they never get destroyed and suppose if we release if we release the force and it will come back to its own shape so therefore this kind of property is basically known as elasticity and there are also certain polymers which has a property of elasticity and those polymers are basically known as elastomers. So for example if you talk about an example of an elastomer then it is nothing but neoprene. So neoprene is an example of an elastomer and now let me talk about the next one that is fibers. So there are also certain polymers which have a property like fibers in nature which are fiber in nature and that's the reason that they are used in textile industry for nowadays we are using nylon 6 or nylon 6 6. So in that case basically if I talk about nylon 6. So nylon 6 is a polymer which has a tensile strength which has a good tensile strength and that is basically whenever these polymers are being formed so therefore the solids the solid polymer that are being formed so that can be shaped into a fiber or that can be used in a fiber so that's the reason that those are known as fibers and now let me talk about the next one that is thermoplastic polymers so talking about thermoplastic polymers there are also certain polymers which are basically which can be heated which can be reshaped and uh, yes and which on heating they will get softened and after cooling they will get uh, hard so in this case basically they have a certain property so that they could change their shape depending on the pressure depending on the temperature so such kind of polymers are basically known as thermoplastic polymers so if you talk about certain example like suppose if i'm talking about pvc that is polyvinyl chloride this is an example or this is a polymer that comes under the classification of thermoplastic polymers and now let me talk about the last one that is thermosetting polymers so these are certain polymers which cannot be reshaped or which cannot be remolded on once it gets shape and that's the reason that uh, they are called as thermosetting polymers and for example if we talk about then bakelite bakelite is an example of a thermosetting polymers which cannot we cannot reshape it after heating and that's the reason that this all are the four the classification of polymers based on the molecular forces so that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i will see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much